Some of you are sitting there like, why are you doing a top five Naruto list? And it's really because I hate myself. That's why. Naruto has always, always been a series that I think is highly overrated. This is coming from a person who jumped on the manga two weeks before the anime began airing in Japan. Yes, I'm talking about junior high school here. And it featured ninjas and Super Saiyan powers and long overdrawn fights and terrible love relationships and much more. What was not to love about it when I was a teeny weeny little boy, you know, I did not discover Berserk or Vagabond or Vinland or all these other amazing animes. No! I knew Naruto and Bleach. Yeah. Anyway, let's get on to the games. Which Naruto game is the best ninja game of them all? Even though they're not really ninjas at all. Naruto Ninja Storm comes in at number 5, and believe it or not, I really enjoyed the first title for the vast amount of effort to bring the anime to life. It's wonderful colors, cool open area fighting system, and sticking very close to the anime, it just felt who bringing the manga and anime to, you know, gaming. They haven't done this before. Um, they did it, well, I'll get more into later, but this was the first time that really made me think, oh, they're pushing the boundaries. And then, you know, it did have its flaws. It felt a little boring exploring, and the special moves were kind of, you know, they look cool, but there weren't that many, and the move set wasn't that big, and even the character selection was pretty lacking. But it was a well-made anime game for the first in, obviously, the long-running series now. Tomorrow! Use your body like a new suit of clothes! None of that matters now. All that's important is achieving my goal. You Naruto Broken Bond, unlike the rise of the ninja, it didn't have me traveling around doing the most useless shit nearly most of my time playing. You still had dumb side stuff, but fortunately, most of the time it was skippable. The battle system felt smoother, better, and even had special looking moves. I mean, that was pretty cool. Overall, it was a pretty fun adventure game, still held back by some of the terrible side stuff that unfortunately they just didn't take out completely. The Ninja Class series. I'm going to put them all together here because I played them all at once. When I was a young boy, I decided it would be a good idea to import all these games from Japan. $200 later, I got them all and I played the shit out of them. They were different than the rest of the fighting games and they felt more like a fighter than the Naruto fan service that other series tried to do. There was no good story to back it, and there was no side missions, but it was a really well-balanced fighter, and it also had a really fun fighting system, and it kind of reminded me of Budokai for Dragon Ball Z, but for the Naruto series, and I played the shit out of these games with my friends, so in terms of versing your friends, I thought this was the best <laughs> Ultimate Ninja 2 and 3. I enjoyed this series, but I'm going to put both 2 and 3 together again. Why? Again, because I played them side to side right after each other because I imported them. And I just, they, they both had these great factors and each had their bad factors for each one. Overall, it was a mix of the Super Smash Bros. gameplay, but more in depth fighting system than you would expect, and a shitload of fan service thrown at you. That's how Ultimate Ninja came along my way. Don't even get me started on the awesome specials that the game provided. So in terms of fan service, this was almost the ultimate package. But we're getting to number one. And yes, the ultimate package with ultimate. Yeah, I know. I know. That's what Ninja Storm 2. I wanted to put Ninja Storm 3 somewhere on this list, and many consider it better, and I did think it did improve some things over 2, but the major thing it failed was the highlighted battles, and it also added a shitload of terrible dialogue and some of the most boring scenes I've ever seen in a video game. Also, there was more side stuff, but none of it was fun. As I, as I pointed out in all of these, all the side stuff in most of these games suck. Sure, two had you running around 
a lot for no real reason other than to piss you off. But those fighting scenes, especially the mid ones, were goddamn amazing and they were just fun to look at. Overall, this was the definitive Naruto game that almost made me come back to the anime. Almost. Because I hear it's still going. Someone put this fucking thing out of its misery. I hear this like Naruto is now a fucking armored samurai of some sort or some shit. Of fuck I don't even know. Just end this damn fucking anime. And people who are still watching it, please go watch something amazing. I don't know, like Berserk or maybe uh, Hajime no Ippo. Or go read Vinland. I think that maybe they have an anime now. Go read Vagabond. You know, there's so many. Hunter x Hunter if you want to keep into the Shonen more teeny anime. But, Jesus. Please. Please go watch other shit. So we can get some fucking games on other animes. Besides Naruto. I think we're getting like 10 Naruto games a fucking year now. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done with this shit. I'm done. Even with the top five, I'm done. I'm done with Naruto. Just end it. End my misery. Sorry. I just need to get that out. That's all. Peace.